Hey, Julie? Yeah. I got this more uncovered. Maybe you can come over and figure out what it is. Okay. I'm coming. Holy crap, what is this? This is totally, this has got to be, this is like a giant sesamoid. This has to be a patella. Give me the, give me your pick, give me your pick. <laughs> yeah, this has got to be a patella. Is this something that we might be able to get DNA out of? I don't know. Cool. That is it's in good shape. It's not broken. That is a giant patella. That is really awesome. Look at that. Look at that thing. From about 1.8 million to 11,700 years ago, 30% of the Earth's surface was covered by ice. The Pleistocene was marked by the establishment of climatic conditions similar to those found in the same areas today. This change resulted in a decrease in animal diversity, both through redistribution and through extinction. For those larger Pleistocene mammals, this change ended their time on Earth. Natural Trap Cave in the Bighorn Basin occurs on a plateau-like feature called Little Mountain. The cave consists of limestone and loose layers of silt typical of most caves. It has been recognised as an excellent opportunity to examine evidence extending from late Pleistocene to recent times. Normally, in breached caves of this sort, Animal remains are deposited on a cone of accumulation directly under the opening. I'm Dr. Julie Meachin. I am a vertebrate paleontologist and I come from Des Moines University in Des Moines, Iowa. And this is Natural Trap Cave. Uh, this is a Pleistocene fossil site. Um, it's a sinkhole. It's about 70 feet deep. Um, and we are finding a bunch of Ice Age mammals in here. And our project is basically looking at uh, change through time. Um, we're looking at aspects of morphology, uh, ancient DNA. Um, we're also looking at aspects of climate change. So we have lots of pollen data and we've sampled pollen from that whole wall. So we should have a pollen record that's, uh, that's at least 38,000 years long. By using modern scientific equipment, the scientists are able to keep an extremely detailed record of where in the cave bone specimens are found. The depth and orientation of bones can be used to determine how and when animals fell into the cave. There we go. Perfect. There's still some uncertainty about the cause and nature of late Pleistocene climatic change. For the larger Pleistocene mammals, it seems likely that their extinction was due to habitat destruction on a massive scale. With science like this, perhaps the mysteries of this time when the great Colombian mammoth Rome and the elusive American lion ruled its kingdom, these questions to the long-standing riddles can be answered. <laughs>